Ever pondered the state of our world in 2040? As we peer into the looking glass of time, predicting the future can feel like a daunting task. The myriad variables, the unforeseen circumstances, the ripple effects of our choices, all contribute to the complexity and uncertainty of forecasting. Yet the minds at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have attempted just that, offering a prediction for the year 2040. Could it be that the world as we know it might crumble in less than two decades? In 1972, researchers at MIT made a bold prediction. Sitting at the heart of technological innovation, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, was home to a group of scientists who embarked on a unique venture. They sought to understand the trajectory of our society, and to do this, they turned to a tool that was cutting edge at the time, computer modeling. Their study, known as the Limits to Growth, was more than an academic exercise. It was a deep dive into the complexities of our world, an attempt to unmask the future using the power of technology. The methodology was intricate, involving a system dynamics model known as World 3. This model was fed with a myriad of data, and it churned out projections based on numerous scenarios. The researchers didn't just throw random data into their model, they focused on five key variables that are at the core of our societal functioning. Population, industrialization, pollution, food production, and resource depletion. Each of these elements was seen as a cog in the machine of our global society, each one impacting and interacting with the others. Population growth was evaluated for its strain on resources and its contribution to pollution. Industrialization, the engine of modern society, was assessed for its toll on the environment and its consumption of resources. Pollution was studied not just as an unfortunate byproduct of progress, but as a determinant of health and longevity. Food production was examined in light of the growing population and the dwindling resources. And finally, resource depletion was looked at, not just as a result of overuse, but as a potential catalyst for societal collapse. This intricate web of interconnections, this dance of variables, was what the study aimed to capture. And the projections it made were not comforting. The model suggested a rather unsettling trajectory. If society continued on its current path, if we kept consuming resources at an unchecked rate, we were heading towards a cliff. Their model suggested a societal collapse around 2040 due to unsustainable resource consumption. It was a stark warning, a call to action, a plea for change. But how accurate was this prediction? We'll delve into that in the next scene. This prediction may sound unbelievable, but let's delve deeper. The MIT study, steeped in complex mathematical models, hinges on the concept of overshoot and collapse. It's a term borrowed from ecology, typically used to describe a population explosion followed by a sudden crash. In this context though, it's being applied to our global civilization. Imagine a car racing towards a cliff edge with a blindfolded driver at the wheel, that's overshoot. The car, in this analogy, represents our society. The cliff edge signifies the point of no return. The blindfolded driver, that's us collectively, ignoring the warning signs and continuing on our path of unchecked growth. Unchecked growth. It sounds like a good thing, right? More wealth, more progress, more everything. But there's a catch. Our planet's resources are finite. We can't keep taking without giving back. We can't keep growing without consequence. The study suggests that if we continue on this path, we'll hit that cliff edge. We'll overshoot our planet's capacity to sustain us. And when that happens, we'll face the second part of the equation, collapse. Collapse in this context doesn't necessarily mean the end of all life or a return to the Stone Age. It's more about a dramatic and potentially catastrophic shift in our way of life. We could see a depletion of crucial resources like fresh water and arable land. We could witness widespread environmental degradation, leading to extreme weather events, food shortages and mass migrations. And as we've seen throughout history, when resources become scarce and environments become hostile, societal structures can strain and even break down. We could see increased conflict, instability, and a general decline in the quality of life. That's the future the MIT study predicts if we continue on our current trajectory, overshoot, followed by collapse. It's a warning, a wake-up call to change our course before it's too late. So is this grim future truly our destiny? Fast forward to now, and the prediction seems eerily accurate. We're in the final stretch of 2023 and the world has certainly seen its share of tribulations. Let's take a look at what's been happening around us. There's been an alarming increase in the frequency and intensity of natural disasters, largely attributed to climate change. Wildfires are raging with a ferocity we've never seen before, hurricanes are becoming more powerful, and droughts are lasting longer. 
These are not isolated incidents but a global phenomenon that is wreaking havoc on our planet. In addition, our population continues to skyrocket. We've crossed the 7.5 billion mark and are still counting. This rapid growth is putting immense pressure on our already strained resources, leading to resource depletion at a rate faster than we can replenish. But it's not just the environment and population growth that are cause for concern. There's also the issue of economic disparity. The gap between the wealthy and the poor is widening, creating social unrest and political instability. These issues individually are significant. But when you consider them collectively, they paint a picture that is eerily similar to the scenario outlined by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in their study. Recent studies have echoed these sentiments. A report from the University of Maryland, for instance, warned of a global system collapse due to unchecked consumption and the widening wealth gap. Another study published in the journal Nature highlighted the risk of irreversible collapse due to environmental degradation and economic instability. These studies and many others like them are adding credibility to the MIT model. They are validating the predictions made nearly half a century ago. So what does this mean for us? Are we heading towards the collapse that was predicted all those years ago? Or do we still have a chance to change the course of our future? The answer to these questions is not clear cut, but what is certain is that we cannot afford to ignore the warning signs. Could we be on the brink of a societal collapse? Only time will tell. But for now, let's continue to delve deeper into the implications of this possibility in the next scene. If this prediction comes true, what does it mean for us? An intriguing question indeed, this prediction from MIT if realized could have far-reaching implications across every facet of our lives, from the economy to our social structures. Imagine our economy for instance, if society were to collapse, the financial markets as we know them would likely crumble. The intricate global network of trade and commerce, honed over centuries, might very well disintegrate. The very fabric of our economic system based on growth and expansion could be torn apart. Now, let's consider our social structures. The institutions that we've built up over centuries from our education systems to our healthcare services would face unprecedented challenges. It's possible that we'd see a shift towards smaller, self-sustaining communities. These communities might have to rely on local resources and expertise, rather than the globalized systems we've become accustomed to. But it's not just our economy and social structures that would be hit. The very essence of how we live our lives, our daily routines, our leisure activities, our dreams and aspirations could all be fundamentally altered. We might have to adapt to new ways of living, new ways of interacting with each other and with our environment. And yet in the face of such profound change, there could also be opportunities. Opportunities for us to rethink our relationship with the planet, to reassess our values, to redesign our systems in a way that's more sustainable and equitable. We might discover new ways of living and working together, new modes of production and consumption that are in harmony with nature, rather than in conflict with it. Of course, these are all potential scenarios. The future is inherently uncertain, and it's impossible to predict with absolute certainty how things will unfold. But the MIT study serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences if we continue down our current path. It's a sobering thought that our current path could lead to such a future. So. What have we unearthed today? We've delved deep into a study conducted by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a study that made a startling prediction. Society could collapse by the year 2040. We've examined the methodology behind this prediction. The scientists at MIT used a complex model, known as World 3, that took into account factors like population growth, industrial development, pollution, and resources depletion. The model's prediction was grim. If we continue on our current path, we might witness societal collapse within our lifetimes. More importantly, we've also explored the implications of this prediction. If it comes true, we could see drastic changes in our way of life. Resources could become scarce, economies could crumble, and societal structures as we know them could fall apart. But it's not all doom and gloom. We've also seen that this prediction has sparked important conversations about sustainability and the need for change. It has led to increased efforts to find solutions to these pressing issues, to change our course, and prevent this grim future from becoming a reality. Lastly, we've looked at recent validations of this prediction. Several experts have analyzed the data and agree that the model's predictions are not far-fetched. They serve as a wake-up call, a reminder that we need to act now. While the future is uncertain, one thing is clear. Our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow.